Alright guys and welcome back to another Forza video. Today we're in the GT500 series once again. This should be the last one I'm going to do in the, in the series uh, for this week. And I think for next week we've got the new series which I forgot what it's called but it's a really good one. It's got a lot of like American NASCARs, it's got like the Audi Quattro in there I think it is. Uh, and a few others. It's a really good classic uh, series. But for this one uh, we're around Hockenheim and like I was saying in the previous video every race is at night for some reason in the series I have no idea why and uh, you know a lot of people misjudge their car and how long it is and uh, having a race at night and uh, that sort of combination uh, doesn't turn out to be good races which you're gonna see in this one this one was full of a lot of rammers I don't know if it's on purpose or accident but I think some people just don't know how long this car is and misjudge it and a lot of the time you get tail whipped you get the back end taken out and uh, there's nothing you can really do. I've done it to someone there by accident. And uh, yeah, I've misjudged it there. And I've been a little bit hypocritical there. But uh, it happens to me quite a bit. And it happens in the series quite a lot. And uh, it is hard to, sometimes when you're using third person view. Uh, to not misjudge uh, the front end of your car. Uh, but you know, uh, sometimes it just does happen. I think it happened in the Forza P2 series. You know, them cars are quite long, especially like the front nose. It's scooped under onto the floor. And sometimes you can clip the, the back end of someone else's car. Uh, but coming into the stadium section here, uh, this was actually the first track um, I watched Formula 1 at as we get taken out there. That, oh, that's what I was talking about. Um, just the front end of the car, a lot of the time people just nudge it into the back of yours. And, you know, the back end uh, is so easily uh, be, uh, be able to, to come out. Uh, but like I was saying, this is actually the first track uh, I watched Formula 1 at. Um, I was sat in that stadium section there uh, in, back in 2014. And uh, we actually managed to see... That was where Lewis Hamilton crashed in qualifying. And then, I don't know if he actually won that race. But I think he got on the podium. He started in like, I think it was like 16th or something. And clawed his way back to a podium position at least. I think it might have been Rosberg who won it. And uh, it was when uh, Mercedes were really dominant back then. Uh, the first year of that uh, but one really noticeable thing was the sound of the Sauber the sal it was the first year the cars changed so unfortunately I missed the sort of V8 loud screaming noises uh, but that was just the Sauber was just the one car I always remember when it was on the downshifts you could always hear it like bubbling especially coming into the stadium section and when it was in like the low revs in the low gears you could really hear like the engine bubbling and uh, I always remember that Salva noise. It was a, a really good one. I don't know if they were using the old... No, no they couldn't have been using the old Ferrari engines because it was the first year of the uh, V6 uh, twin-turbo era. So I'm guessing... I think it might have been the Ferrari engine uh, they were using for that year. I know for 20... Was it maybe 2015 or 16? They were using, like, the old Ferrari engine. I think it might have been 2015 where they are using the, the year behind Ferrari engine. I think uh, Tour Rosso was as well. Uh, but I always remember that sound and uh, yeah it was very it was a very good race I do remember they did uh, allow us to go on the track as well after which is like the only time I've been able to do that as we've got taken out once again and we've got a four second penalty for that and that's just a prime example of uh, Forza penalty systems I get taken out lose about five seconds there and they slap me with a four second penalty uh, you can't really argue with that I think that was fair and equal from the stewards there and uh, I've got three other recordings which I'm gonna do today because like I said there's only gonna be three videos next week because um, I'm gonna do a lot of uh, uni work so it'll probably be Monday Wednesday Friday the videos will be uploaded and uh, I've got a couple of videos in the other series which has just come out this week uh, I always forget the name of the series I don't kind of pay attention to them uh, the name or what they're called uh, but I had one race where it was, I think, the most unluckiest race for penalties. Um, you know, a lot of the time, a few of them were, I'd go wide onto the grass, I'd lose time, and they'd give me a 0.5 penalty. That happened a lot, and it was really obvious that I lost a lot of time. But, um, you know, I just, you just gave me a 0.5 penalty as we make a bit of contact with that guy there. I don't know if he took us out prior to that one. And uh, we're using the pause menu trick, which I've used quite a lot recently. I've come across quite a few rammers. Um, but like I said about the previous race, yeah, I got a lot for just going onto the grass and losing time. And then also there was a guy spinning, he hit the wall. I think it was around Maple Valley or County, whatever it's called. I think it's Maple Valley. 
um, through the last corner where it's very hard to get right. One guy hit into the wall, spun into the middle of the track, and basically you're flying down at that point full throttle or just sort of slightly off throttle as you're going through that final corner. And he didn't ghost and I hit the back of his car whilst he was spinning and it gave me like a five second penalty. That really pissed me off, that did. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I, I'm fingers crossed. That's the, the biggest update I'm waiting for at the moment that we uh, can actually get the penalty system right. Um, I think it might be the next one or is it the one after? I know they're changing the car levelling system a little bit. Uh, I think that'll be in March. And then I think it is the uh, penalty system after this and then the AI as well, which I never know that the AI is just absolutely terrible, like really bad on this game. Um, I use it a little bit just to get the uh, thumbnails for this video. And when you slow down, the AI just doesn't even overtake you. It just stays behind you. Unless you go to like a complete halt or like 10 miles an hour, they'll eventually overtake you one at a time. But if you're going on a straight, it's like they don't overtake you at all. And I haven't done like an actual race with them, but um, you know, I couldn't imagine how bad it is. It's it's so bad that to the point where I don't even know if they actually overtake you if you're battling them. Um, yeah, it's really surprising how bad it is. And I don't know how they've managed to design an AI that bad. I think it's the worst AI I think I've ever seen. I think I've seen better AIs when you can buy like a 50p game, you know, like one of them 2D games. I think I've seen better AI on that. Uh, yeah, and they spent all this year built from the ground up and the, they produced something like that. It's just really, it's really kind of like disgusting that they've like created something like that. Like they've got all this money, all that time, all this marketing of we've built it from the ground up and they produce an AI like that. That is like, have they not tested that? Have they not... You know, someone gone, oh, right, yeah, these AI don't even overtake you. Even if you slow down, they don't even overtake you. You know, it's, I don't know how that's, they've managed to, you know, get away with that. That is just really appalling. I don't know how, I don't think single player is even like a, you know, a, a game mode you can even properly play. Um, if you're a person who doesn't like multiplayer. Uh, I know I used to do it in the old forces where I just, you know, play single player. Uh, but yeah, I, I don't know how you could you could play that on this game. It's just sort of really, really bad. Uh, but we'll come back on to the race in here. We can see we had a bit of a messy race, a few rammers. Um, we're still in the mid pack uh, of 11th place. We've got a 4.8 second penalty there. We did make a, a, a few mistakes with a few people. Um, you know, we did hit the back of the car sometimes, like I was saying. We misjudged the front end of the car, but this race was a write off from basically lap one. Uh, when we got into the stadium section and uh, taken out. So, yeah, this was a, a pretty uh, rubbish one nonetheless. It was just, I thought it just seemed a little bit interesting because it was full of a, a lot of rammers. Uh, you don't often see a full race uh, full of a lot of rammers. I've got a few which uh, are coming out. I think I've got maybe one or two which are really good where I'm battling for first and the guy in first gets really, really salty that I'm overtaking him and uh, does the most uh, craziest ramming you could do and uh, I managed to juke him. I think there's two races where that does happen uh, which will be out for next week but we're coming through the final part of Hockenheim here in the Mustang, the Shelby Mustang GT500 and we'll finish in a respectable 10th position there. That would be one point and uh, yeah, I hope you somewhat enjoyed that one. It was a bit of a weird one that one but yeah, I will uh, see you in the next one.